Why are there so many colors? Sluban, what's on the other side? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and I'm back, which I never left, but you guys have probably been waiting for a couple days for new videos to come out. But here I am, we're doing the store update again. Yeah, round two store update. First of all, in some, I guess we would call this like Pick News, Pick News update, Pick Me Up, Scotty news. Here we go. Do -do 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 no, seriously, I know a lot of you have been sending me some news updates of new sets that are coming out and giving me some information I may not have even heard of before. But check it out. There are some new modulars coming out. This one looks very interesting. Yeah, from a name brand I've never heard of. I don't know when it's available, who it's from, what are they? Which brings me to something very controversial. We're going to talk about it right now. Let's just get this out there, all right? So I love doing alternative big brands, if you guys know, and sometimes I do a build and I have no idea that it was actually a stolen idea or it was designed by someone and it was just taken and then used as a set that you can buy. You know, I'm not the one who's in charge of all that kind of stuff. But I just buy it and be like, cool, look at this set. And then someone finally comes out and says, this is my design, it's been stolen. Do not review this set, et cetera, et cetera. It has happened several times before. So if you see me not doing a review or you're asking me for doing a specific one, there is a reason why I'm not touching that because just out of respect for those designers. But there's another set of modulars that you can see right here, which has been spreading like a wildfire because everyone's like, yo, new modulars. They look really, really good. However, those designs are actually taken from a couple websites like Brickative.com and Rebrickable.com. I know because I actually bought the instructions for a couple of those designs, but they're selling them. This brand, Jigao, you know, I'm, I'm looking at these pictures going, this really sucks, man. Especially it's been stolen from a designer and they haven't even made the set, but now you can buy the whole thing as one. The good thing is it's all there in one. The bad thing is it's a stolen instruction. So, you know, how can you stop that? What can you do? The other thing is, is that this may be vaporware. If you don't know what that means, it just means that this could be something that they just designed or just have a box there. But sometimes these brands never actually put out some sets and that has happened. A lot. I'm actually seeing that happen a lot more now. From some of the catalog stuff that we did together, some sets just don't even exist. Some brands don't even exist anymore. So I want your guys' opinion. What would you do in this situation? Do you just buy the set and just be like, don't tell anyone? Or would you support designers by the PDF instruction manual? Buy the set, use the bricks because it's all there in one. Or you do the original, just buy the PDF and then you go to Bricklink. Bricklink, all the parts, which I know and I understand that it costs a lot of money. We're talking like, some of them I think are over 800 US dollars to get actually, by the time you get all the pieces together, that's what it'll cost. So I want you guys' opinion before I even dive into that. I would love to get into that, but you know, I'm an easy going guy. I kind of try to respect everyone out there, right? The same thing goes with this brand called Super 18K. Now, this is what you're seeing. If you're a huge anime fan, you know, some of you guys watched my last mech video, you know, voiced your opinion on that. Do you like this Gundam? Because this is another situation where it was a stolen idea from a picture that someone posted on Instagram and now they have this available. It's like, you can buy it everywhere. You know, Super 18K has some other sets like this car from Initial D, if you're a car guy. I know the car, but I don't know the, the name of it, but you know, here's the picture of it anyway. Controversial, stealing paper idea and making it into a product and branding it together and turning it into something that you can just buy right away. I don't know what to think. I know some of you will be super angry that that is happening. I think the best thing in my opinion to do for me personally, support the guy or donate money to these guys. I don't know what the best thing to do. I would donate, I would buy the manual and be like, it's my manual and the source of the bricks themselves, I can source it myself going that way. Is that the wrong thing to do? You guys let me know what you think. It's time for some store updates. Let's see what new products are in town. Sluban, okay, so there's a brand called Sluban. They do a lot of town series. I've gotten a couple of them, but I just wasn't really happy with the bricks are, I, I think people don't like Sluban the most because of their bricks, but they are coming out with some new stuff. And just some of the older designs seem kind of plain. That doesn't seem worth it for me to review, but you know, I, let me know if you want me to review these or if I should review some of the older ones. But Sluban does have a new set of series out. And the boxes actually look really nice. Here we go. More food stuff. Why you guys gotta keep doing food? Sushi, hot dog. Look, these colors are so pretty. So pretty colors. French fry and hamburger. Probably have some of these boxes backwards. There's more. Oh, there's a whole thing here. I didn't even see that in the back. Hang on. 
One second. And continuing this series, these are really nice boxes, I have to admit. Candy, ramen or noodles, and sodas. Push this aside. Okay, can you see that? Hamburger, number one. Like I said, like the box, there's no tape on it though, so it's gonna destroy the box when you open it. Oh, this is like the worst kind of box to do that for, because, yeah. Oh, what a shame, what a waste of box, man. Snooban, your box looks really, really good, it's attractive. Like if I saw this on a store shelf, I'd be like, I'm gonna get it right now. But you're wasting the box, man. You caught the eye, you waste the box. Look here. You see that? Small bricks. Yeah, so let's let's see if these are a little bit different than their older stuff, and hopefully the cut is a little bit better. There's a small sticker sheet there. And the booklet is really nice. I like the booklet. But Snoobound figures are totally different from Lego figures, so if you feel like you're you're copying Lego, you don't have to worry about that. Cause they look a little bit better than what the old style was. You know, I'll, I'll pull some out next time for you guys. But there you go, that's the hamburger. Oops, sorry guys, I forgot to show you the box here. There's the box on the front. There's a nice box on the back. And all these sets do split open, so you can get your hands in there. Even though they're really small, probably didn't have to do that. Next, french fries. More french fries. And yes, don't be mistaken with sembo blocks, which I have right here. I'll see if I can review the sembo block food stalls. Be good to compare them at some point. About time. There's the front of the box, by the way. Yeah, nice and green. Green, again, splits open. But the set is all red. I guess they're like me, yeah, we can't make the box red because then everything will look really red or yellow. There we go, there's the booklet. The stickers, where's the stickers? No stickers. Where are all the stickers? Oh, here's the stickers. Scotty, do not lose the stickers. There we go. Sticker feels pretty okay. Okay, that's the french fries. Hot dog, you can see the front of the hot dog box there while I cut it down here and slice it up like that because I can. It's my box, I can do what I like. Ooh, I cut the box over there. Here's the back. Pretty? Oh, the hot dog part looks pretty cool. Yeah, make sure you got everything. Okay, there goes the box. Here's the manual, nice and yellow. In case you're wondering, yellow is my favorite color. There we go. Will this be my favorite set? I'm not sure. At least you guys can see the bricks there. They're nicely wrapped, just like a Lego brick. Ooh, they're not labeled, so... Sets are small, so you don't need numbers on these, I think. Okay, move the hot dog one out of the way. Ramen, you men, I mean, rum. Mm. Oh, there we go. <sighs> yeah. Show the box there. Nice and yellow again. Yeah, they put some thought into this. And the box has a little bit of a texture feel to it. Interesting. I like the chopsticks on it, that's cool. Okay, stickers. Oh, and the manual. But the set is very kind of a maroon brownish look to it. All right, gotta move faster, man. There's a lot of stuff to go through. Soda, who wants some sodas? Yeah. Front and back. Okay, sticker sheet, sticker, the stickers, stickers do look pretty nice on there. Beverage, soda. Man, this looks a lot like Symbol's one. It's almost identical, identical. Can you guys please stop copying each other? Sushi, sushi test. Dump these out. I like the table. It's like a salmon table. That is actually pretty neat. Okay, sticker sheet. It's bigger sticker sheet. There we go. 
Sushi. So if you like sushi, it could be for ya. There's the colors of the bricks. Yeah, you guys can see that. You don't need to see that, do you? Two more left. Just pile these out at the same time because they're the same colors. The ice cream one has been popped open. I shall pop the candy one there at the same time. Ice cream. You scream. Look at those colors. Out of the box. This one looks a little bit better than the symbols one. The design, not the color. I don't know the color until I build it. The color is very pastel-y, yeah? Ooh, interesting, okay. Don't lose the sticker sheet. This is evidence stickers come with the set in case I lose it in the future, but I can't find the stickers. They probably fell down somewhere in this office. There we go. I came out of the way. Finally, I want candy. This looks like a smaller version of the cake from Jimbo. There's the front. Good job, Sluban. Give you a 10 out of 10 for box design. It's one out of 10 for wasting the box. The space, the waste the space. This one's more pink than the other one. Here's the sticker sheet. Happy candy, yeah. Cool, good, all right. Kinda can't wait to build this one, see how it holds up. Sluban, I have some hope for you. Just a quick reminder that these are Sluban's fruit court. B0705A through G, yeah. Okay, should we take a break from the food stuff? Let's take a break from the food stuff. Zing Bao, do you have a new modular for us? Zing Bao has something new. Sorry guys, not a modular. I wish it was. Here it is. Ooh. Look at that boy. The boat. We finally have some new boats. We're into boat themes. This one is an ancient kind of boat. Chinese sailboat. I think that's what it is on the store. It's on the store. It's on bringmeupscotty.com. You can get it. It's pretty big. Look at this. It's a smooth sailing. The font of the English looks so weird underneath the Chinese. Why do they have to make it like that? This is XP25001800. Eight hundred ninety-two pieces, is it? Oh, it's stuck there. Oh, so big, so long. That's what she said. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The sails looks like fabric. And the flag on the top is a fish. Wow. This one has some weight to it for sure. Real weight, look at that. Oh, lots of browns, lots of reds. Where's the fabric pieces? I don't see the fabric pieces here. Oh, those are cool little tiles. You guys see that tile right there? It's like, interesting. New tiles. Or even these ones. Printed. Woo. Yes. Printed. Oh, there we go. Here's the sails. Fabric. It is a fabric. In case you're wondering, not a brick. Not a brick. Ooh, look at that. In case you're wondering, this thing is dusty, man. <sighs> Brand new, too. There's the dimensions for you. you. Can knock yourself out. Maybe you can modify this to be like a theme park thing where it goes. So, Zing Bao, I hope your boat is good. Here are the minifigures. There are a few of them in there. I'll put them all together. How fun. Okay, another one from Sluban. This one may be a little bit girly for some of you out there. Why did I pick this? I don't know. I just wanted something like a home just for myself. And, you know, I love building home stuff. So I had to see what this is like. Unfortunately, this one is very open. It's not closed, but it is pretty big. This is from Sluban's Friends. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Friends. It looks like Friends, right? The same kind of color tone. Girl's Dream B0721. 896 pieces. Comes with two, four, six, seven minifigures. Shall we just open it? Yo, Sluban, man, why you gotta make a bald logo of a kid? 
Why bald? I don't know. Oh. Could have been half a bald. Could have been half a bald. Okay, the colors like that kind of look. Mm, I don't know about this tone. I don't know if this is an older set. This might be older. You experts can let me know. There are other base plates like that. They feel kind of plasticky. I think that's kind of what people are talking about, like with Sluban's quality. We'll have to see how it really is. Here's the booklet. A couple stickers. A couple of mine got bent there. Okay. But when you add all the plates up, it's pretty big. We shall see. There you go. Yeah, let's see. This is for minifigure scale size. So if you're into friend series and you're looking for more, like where do I find more friend stuff that's not friend stuff that Lego will never make. There you go. This one. Sembo block. Here we go. Ooh. If you're a Japanese fan of food and you want some more stalls for your city, these ones actually look pretty good. Yeah, we don't need this yet. This is my open shop. Be like, here you go. Here's the shop. Cool. Okay, this one doesn't have the name at all. So here's the backside. What you're seeing is 6010666765568. I'm going out of order. It's on the web store. You can go look on brickingupscotty.com. First one here is Takuyaki stall. If you don't know what Takuyaki is, then go have one. I like those little squid balls. I, I love them. I think they're really, really good. So it's very small. There is a sticker sheet in here. Oh, they're using... I can open this and show you guys. Hang on. Cut, cut my finger, man. This one's using sticker sheets like that. Oh no, on the one by one circle tile, those are all the takoyaki. Oh, the octopus balls. Sorry if I said squid balls, but you know, you get the idea. Balls, balls, balls are tasty and really, really good. There's a the minifigure there, just kind of hanging and chilling there. Cool, yeah. You can see how many pieces there are right there, right here. A lot to build for you guys. This one is sushi, sushi shawl, sushi, sushi, sushi shawl, right? Oh, it has a little bit of fabric there. Very small manual again. Well, the figures actually look really good, man. They're like in there kimono or like robe style dress. You know what I mean? Japanese culture, man. Oh, this is going to be amazing. All you fans in Japan, you know you got to have this thing. This is really cool. All right, there, you can see the minifigures right there. Yes. This one is, pop this down, shaved ice. Shaved ice. We all could use some shaved ice. There we go. Again, the sticker sheets are all here. They're inside. This one's inside the packet. Jelly drops. I like the color. Very cool blue kind of thing. Very neat, yeah. Oh, they might look really nice together. There we go. You know you want this. I know you need this. I know you want this. You know you want this. Okay, put that there. Last one. Last but not least is the noodle joint. Yes, noodles. There we go. Ooh, look at that. More fabric here. They got a bicycle. No stickers? No stickers. Oh, the stickers are behind the fabric. But there you go. Very nice. Sembo, you're stepping up your game. I like the look of this. Pretty good. Two more. Should we do it? You guys have time, man. All the time in the world, right? Here we go. Ah, Sluban. Yeah. This one actually does interest me a little bit because it is a little small home. The box is very, I don't know. It looks really faded. But I like the look of this. This is also available already. These are all available, by the way, on the store. You know, just take your time, look at them. You know, wait for me to review them to see if they're good or not. Majority of them are pretty okay. Yeah, so this is Sluban B0770. Wedding house, shoe house. Shoe, I like it because it's a house, but it's a shoe. 398 pieces, where else are you gonna find something like this? 
Oh, I forgot they have no tape. Oh, broke that box. Here we do this side. Oh, you can see the other series down there. I did not order them to unbox for you guys because they're not kind of like my thing, but no. Unless this video gets like so many hits and people want me to do more of them, it costs money and time, man. I'll put it inside. There you go. More of those crazy looking colors. But the house looks good. I like the shoe. I like the shoe idea. Here's the sticker sheet. I love you. I love you too. How sweet. Aww. It's so magical. There we go. Last one is something very unique I haven't seen before. I gotta pick it up and grab it. Oh no, there's two more. It's a long store update video. All right, last one from Sluban. Now they do have a town series. This is one of them. Uh, I actually got this for Tyler because he is a huge car wash fan. The kid loves to go to car wash. I don't know why he's fascinated by brushes. All he does is straw car washes. I'm serious, he does. So I got this one for him. So Tyler, this one's for you. There's the car wash in the back and you have a whole bunch of like series here. Again, this is Sluban's newer series, I think. B0759D. So there's more there along the bottom that you can see. I'll try to zoom in on those for you guys. 323 pieces. So we end up car mechanics, stuff like that. And I think a majority of these should be minifigure scale size, you know. We're just trying to avoid the whole Lego issue with not being minifigures. By the looks of the bricks, it looks okay. I don't know how this one's gonna be. I'll let you guys know. We got a Tyler on. I'll tell you guys. There's a little booklet. Looks simple enough. Oh, I just dropped the booklet. Super, super garage washroom. Very cool. Oh, maybe I'll give this to Tyler for his birthday present. Oh yeah, last one. For all my NanoBlock fans, you know I still actually really love doing NanoBlocks. There's more sets that I'm building. I'll review those for you guys. Alternative ones as well. This is another alternative one. I laughed when I saw this. Man, how come I never seen this before? So this is NanoBlock mini block size. Let's see if I can put it on the store. From a brand called Building Stars. I think they're called Building Stars. I don't know why it's confusing again. It's just, is it NPX? Is it PNX? Is it ZXP? Is it XZP? I have no idea. Please guys, design better logos for your company so we can remember what they are. But there you go, look at this, Ronald McDonald chilling on the bench. He looks kind of evil. I saw this, I'm like, I gotta get it, I gotta get this thing, and this thing looks hilarious. Just so you guys can see for yourselves, that yes. Look at all, that's a lot of, this is a lot of nano blocks. This is a lot, a lot. Or micro blocks, whatever you want to call it. Yo, look at that. Does that look like fun? For me, it does. It's 3,980 pieces. So this should be building stars, I think. Number 8833 minus one. Or atomic building blocks. I don't know. Just email us if you're interested in this. I think it's on the store. I'm not sure. Okay, let's pack this away. So there you guys go, store update for now. Hopefully I can do another one soon for you guys. Thank you for hanging in there and hanging out and being patient with me. And let me know what you think of the whole controversial idea of these ideas that are being formed into products. If you're out there and your design has been stolen, I'm sure really bad, but let me know what you think too. I'd love to get input on this. I don't know how to stop it, man. Once these things are built, they're in factories, they're churning out like crazy. Tough thing, or you just don't buy it, just ignore it, just ignore that whole section, all right? Okay, all right, you guys. Until next time, break me out!